Muy buenos días. Good morning. Un saludo al misionero Miguel Bermúdez Marín. Greetings to the missionary Miguel Bermúdez Marín. Ya está ya en Who is already Guatemala. there in Guatemala. Y deseamos and we desire que Dios lo bendiga for God to bless him greatly en in this activity que that we have this coming weekend. Y and que así crezcamos todos. may we all grow in, in the knowledge of everything that God is fulfilling in this present day, in this age, the age of the cornerstone, and in this dispensation, the dispensation of the kingdom. And also, use all the ministers who will be there and all who will be listening to these activities. May they be of great blessing for all of us. Today, Wednesday, November 9th of this year 2022, I wish to share with you a portion of the scripture which corresponds to each one of us to see them in the light of this time in which we are living in because it is a time where we are in the part of adoption the part where we are being prepared for our adoption so all the things that are happening should, should matter to us because our adoption depends on all those things. Everything that was happening there on Mount of Transfiguration had to do with the adoption of Jesus. Therefore, a number of events that would be happening at the end time that would be fulfilled prior to that adoption. And in the book of Acts it tells us a history or a story which we all know. And that story tells us how in the time of the apostles many went aware that it was the Spirit of God that was working in their midst. You notice uh, to read to read you some extracts and to take this study as a study to meditate and to see how important this time is for our adoption and to identify the one who is working in our midst and thus hit that um, that zero mark in the message the interest of a new day preached on 5th July 1996 in Bogota Colombia he says and if anything well Miguel and I talked in, in whatever God allows us or allows me to help you in all the work, I will also be together with Miguel, hand in hand with you, working in the work of God. And whenever Miguel invites me to accompany him on the trips and be with you, well, I will be accompanying him, let's say 98, 99 uh, 90 or 99% of time I will be accompanying Miguel on the trips he invites me and thus I will be sharing with you what God gives me. Remember, work in mutual agreement with Miguel and appreciate the, device, the, the advice that 
Miguel always gives you because if God has placed Miguel by my side, it is because he is the best that God had to put by my side in the ministry. And I thank God for Miguel for he has been faithful in everything that God has given him to carry out in his work and he will continue to be faithful in all the work that lies ahead. In other words, um, every minister is called to be united hand in hand in mutual agreement with Brother Miguel. So let us always work. Me, me also, I always agree with Miguel, even for my birthday. It is not who is preparing the birthday, but Miguel. So, God has put at my side a person whom I can trust, for whom I thank God, and I ask God to bless him and use him more and more each day in his work, and use him to keep you united in divine love working in the work of the Lord. I don't wish at any time that the time comes when this part, for example, of Ananias and Sapphira, let's say, is fulfilled and that the judgment begins in the house of God in that way being spoken and that some of you will be affected and that some word will be spoken against some of you. Rather, I wish that there will always be words of blessings that God will put in my mouth for each one of you. Let us work united. We always work well by being well united. Uh, you notice what happened there that our brother William makes a reference on that occasion in Acts chapter 5. He says, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to give back part of the price of the land? You see, Peter knew what Ananias had done. And yet, no he didn't warn him he didn't tell him look what you are doing is wrong look don't do this don't do that he didn't tell him anything but he knew what he was doing whilst it remained was it not thine own and after it was sold was it not thine own power why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And there he draws a star of David. And Ananias hearing these words, notice, uh, that is why Brother William says that there, that all that, he says that he does not desire at any time, for that time, for that time, for that time to come, for that part to be fulfilled, that time of judgment of Ananias and Sapphira, that he makes reference to that, that the judgment begins within the house of God, that way, being spoken. And then he continues to say, and Ananias hearing these words fell down and gave up the ghost. Great fear came on all them that had these things. In other words, they were listening to Peter there in that which had happened. And the young men arose, wound him up and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. Notice how he knew before they came to him. He already knew what they had done. And even 
viendo lo que había pasado already seeing what had happened three hours ago that he had spoken the divine judgment upon Ananias because that was judgment that fell on him there he didn't warn Sapphira his wife he didn't say anything to her look you are coming with this and your husband just died because he lied to me so don't do this look go fix it or go get the other part and bring it to me or don't do that that thing you are doing this the same thing that happened to your husband can happen to you he didn't tell her anything he went along with it and Peter answered unto her tell me whether you sold the land for so much and she said yeah for so much then Peter said unto her how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord see who was it that they were lying to there it was the spirit of the Lord doesn't it say that is it not what he said in the first in first Peter look at what it says in first Peter chapter 1 verses 10 verse 10 says of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow and the glory that should follow and you notice what was in them he says the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify in other words it was the spirit of Christ that was there in Peter and there they tempted the spirit of the Lord behold the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out now you notice he also spoke the word of judgment there then fell she down straight away at his feet and yielded up the ghost and the young men carried in came in and found her dead and carrying her forth buried her by her husband and a great fear came upon all the church and upon as many as heard these things and they also drew a star of David and you notice that they as far as we can see they didn't realize that the Spirit of Christ was working there in those days. Though they were very close people, they were people close to them. For instance, in the case of uh, Elisha with Gehaz, uh, check in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 20, it says, but Gehaz, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Behold, my master hath spared Naaman's, Naaman this Syrian in not receiving at his hands that which he brought. But as the Lord liveth, I will run after him and take somewhat of him. So Gehaz followed after Naaman. And when Naaman saw him running after him, he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is it is all well? And said, All is well. My master hath sent me, saying, Behold, even now they have come to me from Mount Ephraim, two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray thee, a talent of silver and two cha changes of garments. And Naaman said, Be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver and two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house, and he let the men go, and they departed. 
but he went in and stood before his master. You notice the same thing happened. The way Ananias and Sapphira stood before Peter, that is, before the Spirit of the Lord. And here they were before the Spirit of the Lord, who was also there in Elisha. But he went in and stood before his master. And Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou, Gehaz? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. And he said unto him, Went not mine heart with thee? See, there Elisha also knew. He was aware of what Gehaz had done. And he didn't tell him, notice, what you did was wrong. You shouldn't have done that. Rather, he went along with it. He asked him a question so he could answer himself. And he lied to him. Por eso, that is why que tener mucho cuidado, we have to be very careful le to whom we are talking to in this end time because it is always a simple way. Y que no ha, va and you might think, oh, if that is so and so, I can tell him that I'm used to talking to him like that, and he always believes what I tell him. And the other one, and the other one, or to Brother Miguel, I always tell him such and such, and he always believes. But be careful with this time and to whom you are telling and thinking that you are going to do well by lying to him because the spirit of God is in the people among the people and as leaders we are put there in that time for instance Peter, in whom was the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Christ. Also, in this time, things must be spoken clearly because we have this great character of God that God has put in our midst together with the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, William Santiago, this great apostle of the Lord, our brother Miguel Bembrez Marin, who Perhaps many have understood well because it is like many uh, all of us have understood that great position but others have taken it very lightly and they haven't realized maybe they haven't realized that the Spirit of the Lord is in the midst of His people and they think or continue as they have been doing all these days with lies and things. And there will come a time when there will be no more opportunity. And as he said, I will no longer be able to put my hand in for you. And many perhaps are used to lying to Brother Miguel. And that is very but very delicate. The same to the ministers. Some minister that somebody does or say things or some brethren because we are not to be lying to each other. That is one of the things that is not right. And that the things that have happened to these people who have lied, it hasn't been good. He says, but he went in and stood before his master, and Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou, Gehaz? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. And he said unto him, Went not mine heart with thee? when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee? Is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and oliveyards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and men servants and maid servants? The leprosy therefore of no man shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Now, you notice it is very important that we know these things. 
va a venir un tiempo because there's going to come a time en donde ya when this will be in full fulfillment porque está entrando because esa that stage is coming in ya no podríamos and we could no longer say que that hay oportunidad there's an opportunity to fix it but it would es, it would already be the divine judgment that would fall and we have to speak it we have to speak this thing so that you are aware of all these biblical truth that we are in that past time fulfilled and they were showing that God would, what God would be doing in this end time and in the message in the message poniéndonos del lado de Jesús taking sides with Jesus en la página on page 51 on page 51 miren lo que nos dice aquí Look at what it tells us here. Ciego, like that blind boy dijo, said, esto ha sido hecho para This was done that Dios the works of God might be made manifest. See? Él sabía que See? Eso he knew what claro, was going to take place. Sure, he did. All right. Ahora, los Now los they pre they predestinated when they seen his scriptural signs, know that the word vindicated the works or the works vindicated the word that the word was right they were predestinated to see it and they were right in line to see it and they got it then they said after they seen they couldn't get nowhere because the people was predestinated to eternal life they was going to find it that's all all the father has given me will come to me and all that comes to me I will give eternal life and raise him up at the last day there will not be one of them lost amen I'm holding right to that See? not by works not by deeds not by power not by might by my spirit saith God not what I done or what I am or what I will be but what he is and I am in him and whatever he is I'm part of him Amen. I'm saved because I'm part of him and he, he is God and I'm part of him because being his son he draws the star of David that's right so ain't what ain't what I done what I will do it's what he has done that's my trust right there alright so they seem they couldn't get nowhere I will skip a few of the scriptures here they seem they couldn't get anywhere with him so you know the next thing they had to do to try to get him off the field. They went and said to his brethren and his mother, you know, he's talking about Jesus. You know, he is awful tired. You should take him off one side for a while. The bunch of hypocrites. They just didn't, the thing it was, they just didn't want to get the thing they didn't want to do they wanted to get rid of him it wasn't that they thought he was so tired they would like for him to, to work himself to death they, they like for him to work himself to death look in this same message uh, something is talking about they, they want to say the days of miracles are past and so forth let them go ahead and say it, but let us do the service for the Lord they hated him because they were jealous of him that's the only reason they were jealous they were trying to destroy his influence before the people the same as they are doing now they if they can just in destroy the influence of the message before the people then they have got the thing whipped 
Eso es correcto. ¿Por That's qué? right, because ¿Por qué de why did they try to do it? Because he was against all their creeds and all their church doctrines and everything that they believed in and called all their, all their faith and so forth. He was against it all. And they hated him because he didn't budge in with them. That is what he's talking about later on in this series of events that occurred under uh, the ministry of Jesus. It says, on page 52, or 43 in English, but every time he went out, the miracle started powering. The word of God went forth. I wouldn't like to hear him standing up there that day on the seacoast. When he called Simon Peter and said, follow me, would I, like to, would I like to go on a chunk and sit down there? Let my nets and let my fishing pole, brother Chris, and sit down there, lean back against a chunk and listen to him preach when, uh, when he got in that pot. Oh my, what my, would I, love, would I love to have heard him when he said that? Come on to me. All ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Amen. I would like, I would like to have him say it. They tried to get his mother and them to take him off the field. They said, well, you know, he is overworked. I believe you better get him off that way. Anyway, a thing to get rid of him, that's what they wanted. Yes, sir. Again, the many that went with him just to find a place to trap him. Did you know that the brethren say um, people followed right along with him just to find a place? They gave him one day a penny and they said, Rabbi, before they give him the penny, said, Rabbi, we are Jews, we know you are a great man of God. Oh, that hypocrite. Yeah, see? We know you are a great man of God, Sir Rabbi. They was walking, walking right along with him. See? Although they were walking with him, they were a bunch of hypocrites. They didn't really know who he was. He says, they was walking, walking right along with him. Oh, good morning. Brother, oh, we are so happy you are over here in our country. Oh, we are so glad to see you. We are ready for you, teeth and toe and, to and nail. Brother, if you are going to have a revival, we even might cooperate with you. Look, this is exactly what we see in our days. See, what they were trying to do is to set a trap for him. See, they said, now we know that thou art a great man of God. You don't fear favor of no man. You fear nothing but God. And we know that you are bold. Oh, you are fearless with your message. We know you are a great prophet because no man could do like that and be fearless with his message in, in, day, in a days like this unless he was a prophet of God, knows where he is standing. So, we know you don't respect person. No man, Rabbi, you are a great man. We, we are Jews. We are right with you, brother. We are sure. Now, Rabbi, see, after they do it, uh, with brown nose, as we say, now they come. Is it right to pay tribute to Caesar? Oh, that bunch of hypocrites. Aha. Wait, the Holy Spirit was with him. He was the Holy Spirit. See? The same thing that happened in the time of Peter, what was there? The Spirit of Christ. It was the Holy Spirit that was there at that time of the apostles. He said, you got a penny? Say, he said, oh yes, yeah, I got a penny, yeah, I do. He said, hand it to me. He said, whose inscription is on that? He said, Caesar. He said, then give Caesar what Caesar's and God's what is God's, setting a trap for him, professing to be his friends. Seemed like no one could understand him. They would travel with him a little while, then get disgusted with him and leave. They would say, oh well, we thought, we thought surely, even the disciples said, we thought surely, this was he that was going to, even, 
We thought sure this was he that was going to till even John sent out, asked him, are you he or do we look for another? See? Oh, what a life he must have lived. See? And knowing that, you notice how he was already being pointed at for the life he might have had before, before he began that ministry. And knowing that, but he had one purpose, one purpose, to do the work of God. Many went with him just to find a place to trap him. Now I hope it's not sacrilegious if I say it's the same today. Many come in and follow the meeting just to find a place. See, you pray for somebody. Here, not long ago, a certain sister that goes to this church was at another church where God was making everything happen. And this sister said to the other sister, said, you know, that man that could pray for the sick said, must have a, a very victorious life. And said, he must just be able, his family, everything. He healed that uh, spoken word like that. And the other lady happened to be from Jeffersonville. And I'm sure that nobody has to know but what Jesus said. Among your own people, you know, your country, that's right. That's the reason. I, it may be that right now, coming close, it may be a change of time, you see? And he said, he said, you know what? He said, not one of his kids can have a sniffle unless he takes it to a doctor. She was saying something to someone who was from Jeffersonville, that is from Brother Branham's congregation. A poor, graded, deluded thing like that. See? A woman that just wanted to throw off. In other words, saying that with all those revivals and all that Brother Branham had in his ministry, which was a victorious ministry in everything, in that when he spoke and did all those campaigns of divine healing and all that, people would be healed. He said, well, if that is so, well, when his children get sick or some family member, where he speaks the word, and they, and they are healed. And then she comes and speaks to... To, she speaks to discredit. And then she says, see that if there is one of the kids, he comes in and has a sniffle, he quickly goes and takes him to the doctor, discrediting that ministry. He says, See, a woman that just wanted to throw off, said, when his children get sick, he takes them to the doctor. Anybody that is sensible will do the same thing. Yeah, people can't understand that medicine is sent from God. Why? Brethren, if it's not, it's of the devil. Sure, it is. God is where medicine won't reach. Certainly, medicine is of God. Well, you say, I know a lot of doctors. Just, oh yes, and I know a lot of preachers in the same way. Two, it's not the man that's handing it, it's what it is. I know many men is handing the word of God, don't believe in divine healing, don't even believe in God. Right, but they handle it just the same. There's many of men out there with medicine and surgery and stuff and that denies God and everything else. But there is many one that believes him too. So if it helps people, it's of God. I don't have to I don't have to take that car and ride home tonight. I can walk if, if I want. But God made me a car. So I thank God for it. In these things all these things come from God. But use them sensibly. Don't go insane with them. See? The same thing. So that, that's it. You see? Just trying to find something to this young convert to write their name.
el nombre de las obras the name de Dios. Of the works of God. Vean, ellos querían See? obscurecerlo. They wanted to Cada vez que un niño it, se enferma, to uno de sus it. hijos, él los Every lleva time a child médico. gets sick, one si of his children, haría, he takes them to a doctor. Si el médico sure, no puede, I would. Then if the doctor can't, I will ask God to help, to help before I go there. Then if the doctor can do nothing about it, then I will take him up a little higher. Aha, that's right. Yes, sir. Oh, just the same today. They are trying to find a trap somewhere. You notice where it's going to be placed. Vamos a hacer una pausa aquí. Let's pause here. Porque miren algo because look at something en donde es que va a haber where esa sanidad there's going to be that complete healing porque en donde estamos, because o sea, where we are en este tierra, in other words on this si planet earth físicamente, if we put it physically en este planeta tierra, on this planet earth no tenemos ningún futuro, we así have no estamos. future as we are. Se necesita que salgamos we de need to live here vayamos, and go to the marriage chapel of the Ram, the seventh dimension. In other words, a higher place. But to get to that place, the church has to believe. She has to find her position. In other words, she has to position herself in the place to obtain that complete healing obtener ese cuerpo to obtain that eternal and glorified body. O sea, obtener In other words, to obtain that means of transportation to go to the seventh dimension. En la 37, On page 37, paragraph 311 in the book of quotation it says, Now notice then the coming of the Lord Jesus is so close at hand until the spirit from way down in here just bear a justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Spirit, and now right into the time of the coming of the headstone. The church has got to be so perfectly like Christ until Christ and the church can unite together. The same spirit. And if the spirit of Christ is in you, it makes you live the life of Christ. See? Whose spirit is in you? The spirit of Christ. That is why we have to be careful and respect one another because it is the Spirit of the Lord that is in the midst of His people. It makes you live the life of Christ. Act the life of Christ. Do the works of Christ. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Jesus said that. See? We are going to have, we got a ministry coming that's just exactly like the life of Christ. What does that ministry identify? The coming of the Lord. Look at the Lutheran Church and a justification. And he writes the age of the cornerstone, the coming of the Lord. Look at Lutheran Church and a justification coming just so fleshly from Catholicism. Look at it moving. Then look at Wisdom coming a little closer into sanctification, weaving into the scriptures. Look at right in between the Wisdom. Then the next thing comes in was the Pentecostal age. And the Pentecostal age with the restoration of the gifts, the spiritual gifts. Now look at the age coming now right up to the headstone. See what I mean? The coming of the Lord. The made known. God and all creation is waiting for the church to positionally find its place. And he writes there on the side he writes cornerstone and a drawing of the stone with an arrow towards the cornerstone. That is the age that is coming, the one on top. And there in that age is where we are going to obtain that healing of our bodies, which will happen in these last days. And he continues saying here, taking sides with Jesus, he knew them, but notice, he never rebuked them. He went right with them. Aha, 
He does the same thing Él now. He goes right along with them. Shows them his mercy. Es correcto, That's right. Though they do all together against him. He knew Lo everything they had in their minds. Because for example. Porque, por ejemplo, miren, look. Vamos a uh, let's aquí. stop here again. Let's make a pause. Miren, en el libro del, de Lucas. Look at the book of Luke or St. Matthew. Let's check in St. Matthew. Look at what? Matthew says in chapter 3. Verso. El apóstol. This is John the Baptist speaking the forerunner of the first coming of the Lord. Look how in his days he also knew what they were thinking. On verse 8 of chapter 3 in St. Matthew he says, Bring forth their Therefore, fruits meant for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able to, of these stones, to raise up children unto Abraham. And he writes of the, out of the, of the sinners. You notice they were thinking that they had Abraham as their father and they had everything of Abraham and they didn't want to receive John at that time Even though they had the message and all those scriptures of Abraham, Moses and all the prophets no les that was valió de nada. of no use to them. Hay una parte que lo hemos leído en otras There's ocasiones. a part that we have read on other occasions. Vamos a ver aquí. Let's see here. Son dos porciones. Vamos there are two portions. Porciones. Let's read ya these two portions since ahí. they go with that part there. There's also another part where I told them it was Abraham uh, it was Abraham when the, the rich young man told him to go to his brothers so they would not go through what he was going through. And Abraham said to him, they have Moses and the prophets. Something like that. In other words, they were, let's say, as if they were very sure that since they had the message of Moses and Abraham and everything, they didn't have to receive the message the message of the forerunner, of the first coming of the Lord, and the message of the foreign, of the first coming of Jesus. They were very comfortable and very calm with all that. In the message chosen to produce a permanent fruit was preached on Saturday, October 28th, in the year 2000, in Lima Pelu. Now we have seen that when people are organized, they make their denominations. That branch dried up, and its end is to be cut off. It's a branch. Then it becomes a denominational branch. It is not connected to Christ. And Christ says, without me, you can do nothing. But they can show that they are doing many things, but they don't belong to the mystical body of Christ. They don't belong to the 
to that Por pure tanto, bread of Jesus Christ. Therefore, they can do many things, but they are not producing the fruit of the sons and daughters of God for the age in which they are living in. Because the fruit comes through these branches that the tree produces, not branches that human beings produce, not branches that human wisdom produces, not religious sects or denominations or religious organizations, but through each branch born from the trunk, which is Christ. And it only has three branches, first age, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then the eighth, the age of the cornerstone, which is an eternal age. The others had their time and gave their fruit, and now the only one that remains is the age of the cornerstone. All fruit that comes in this end time, for people who will be alive, will have to be through that branch. This is the branch that produces sons and daughters of God in this end time. Therefore, don't try to affect that branch with human ideas, interpretations, because whoever does so will have problems before Christ, and I will not be able to help you. There, that is one of the many times that he tells us that there was going to come a time when he wasn't going to be able to help you if you inject ideas or try to... Let's read this other one where he tells us about... Um, we had read this earlier before where he tells us about some things that we are corrected. This was preached on 5th of July 1997 in Cartagena, in Cartagena, Bolivia. He says, well now, notice how this mystery of the new name would be revealed in the last day, in the age of the cornerstone, in the opening of a new dispensation. And it was said in 1974 that that name would be revealed in the angel of the age of the cornerstone. All that was said back in that time, and countless things were said, and whatever was said at that time, that wasn't correct is removed in the publication of that message. I told Miguel, we check it. And I said to Miguel, don't place this or this either, because now there is more light on this and on this. Therefore, that shouldn't be put there. Because for that time it wasn't known who was the angel, messenger of the age of the cornerstone and the dispensation of the kingdom that came later on. Therefore, that message, when it was published, was updated in the light of everything that God had already given. Uh, let me repeat this. Therefore, that message, when it was published, was updated in the light of everything that God had already given when that message was published. And any person who takes that message, whether on a tape or transcribed, and uses it as it was given, and uses things that were not yet clear, and uses them to mislead the people, will be responsible before God. And I will not be able to tell him anything else, but that his name will be removed from the section of the Book of Life, because he can't be in the section of the Lamb of the of the Lamb's Book of Life. If the person insists on being against setting things right, and working in union with other ministers. Therefore, his name will be removed from that section of the Book of Life because he will be using a message or he will be using a few messages to lead the people astray. And that uh, is going to be held accountable for all those people that, that minister or those ministers have done to mislead the people. They have already been told that they can't do that. And they are doing it. They are still doing it. But that person with what he is telling us there, such a person is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because a person that is written there doesn't do that. 
That is why people have to be careful. Cuando ya se va acercando el momento time of de la adopción, the adoption is getting closer, many are already realizing that there are people who belong al grupo to the group de la Virgen de of the sleeping son virgins. Virgen. They are virgins. Pero esa es muy But that section is very delicate because their moral. name can be erased. They have to Bien walk very straight, more straight. Vamos a decir, Let's say They have to be more Todos careful. We all have to be very Pero careful. But they, because their name can be raised, have to be cuidado. more careful. Y se van dando And many are already realizing interés. which group they belong to. Let them look at themselves and see the works they are doing. And see in which position and what those, what they were doing those of uh, the first coming of the time of the first coming of the Lord and what those who were against the first coming of the Lord were doing and, to, and what those who were in favor of the Lord were doing in other words when you identify yourself in the Bible and say that the same thing you are doing now was done there by a group of people or a group of people who joined together the fight against the divine program and you are doing the same thing, well, you already know that you belong to that group. Everything is simple and everything is clear. And now even more, each person is going to be identified, he himself in which group he belongs by his works. And those who also join those people, automatically, they also identify themselves with that group. Because even if they don't say anything, as they say, guilt is the one who orders to kill as well as the one who kills. In other words, all those who identify themselves, you see how the groups are gathering and they are already forming the group in which they belong. And all this is the same person who does it. That is produced by the word that is being spoken. And when they identify themselves with that word, men identify themselves as those who are being prepared for that adoption. For the adoption, and others, when they heard the, that word, they don't like what is being spoken. They don't believe it. And then with the same word, they then place themselves in the position of those who place themselves in in ancient times against the divine program. It is by their works. By their works ye shall know them. It goes on to say, Así que vean ustedes que cualquier cosa que haya sido hablada que no so es correcta que no has been spoken, pues será corregida a medida que vamos a avanzar correct, en el programa de divino. Program. Pero eso But that le toca ser corregida be por el mensajero the a través del libro, through a través a message de un mensaje que él predica. Y entonces será en entonces que era corregido. Y así ha sido corregido. And so many things that he spoke en ese tiempo, at that time have been corrected. En el fin del tiempo, and in the end of time, already, su at the end of his ministry, you notice that the messenger spoke cosas, a lot of cosas, things to us. Certain things, even the name. And he corrected Pero us himself. No But it wasn't in the way esperaba. that many expected. And there came the stumbling block. It is not in the way that you want it to be fulfilled or to be spoken. Everything that God, every word that God is going to speak to the people in the way you ask or want. It is the way that God has already predestined since before the foundation of the world. And all that that he spoke To us, como esos cambios like those changes de dispensación, of dispensation when they happen desde la primera dispensación a la from segunda, the first dispensation la segunda, to the second, second from the second to the third, third from the third to the fourth from the fourth to the fifth the fifth, the fifth the sixth the sixth to the seventh ahí cuando él nos habló, there when he de told us eso, of all that de ese entrelace dispensacional, of that this, él, uh, dispensational interlaces being here with us but not being preached pulpito, on a pulpit, you notice how that allí, which he says there mensaje, that would be preached in a message by the messenger. Se See how it is fulfilled in a nadie way that nobody expected it. Habló, Everything he spoke allí, there 
Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, when he said se iban a that baptisms were going to be stopped and it was said that baptisms were going to be taken away Fíjense, notice como todo el mundo how de every, sí everybody stopped doing baptisms sí there sí. they believed it Creyeron we are going to stop manera, doing baptisms yes Dios they believed God's way and form for that terminado. to be finished we eliminated the Holy Supper that too we are going to believe that because what was That was the messenger. But they are not seeing the way God was doing it. It was through the mouth of a messenger. It was the sword being passed to another. Now, when the name was also spoken about, oh no, wait. Some said, no, 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 that can't be. But then for some things they didn't believe they were provided by God. And for other things, they didn't. So he who is an unbeliever is still an unbeliever. No matter the way God shows him to believe it, but God is fulfilling at that time. But the child of God, he who is of God, he has the voice of God. And the mouth of God are always his prophets. And you notice here, another part, donde dice where it says que vamos a ver aquí si encuentro para no no leer todo esto it it es un extracto del mensaje dando cuenta por nuestro hermano message, predicado el 3 de julio del 98 en Fusagasugá, Colombia account for our brethren vamos a leerlo preached on 3rd July 1998 in Colombia para no leer todo dice no that read not read much it's read here where it says bueno que it que is good hoy, that what we have spoken today cosas, since it has a lot of bueno things Miguel it is good si to corre, keep it because there we touch on things that if they, they run could bring a squeeze before time no and we want to have no already gathered all the chosen ones before the squeeze comes to us we don't want a confrontation before time I rather want to be transformed and I believe that none of you would like a confrontation or a persecution or a squeeze being in the motto, corruptible and temporary body. Although it may be possible that being still in the motto, corruptible and temporary body, the squeeze comes. And then in those days comes the resurrection and the transformation. But we are going to continue working and to carry out the works the work that gives us the green light. After that work is finished, the green light for adoption. Without that work, There is no adoption. And be aware of that temptation that is pointed out there, both here and in all countries. Well, Miguel can speak to you. I will always leave Miguel like what we talk about here is recorded as it is recorded and what Miguel almost uh, never is recorded because Miguel can take care of the ministers of taking of talking and advising them in these aspects so that they be aware of the mark of the beast of the image of the beast be aware of the temptation that comes and all those things and care for their congregations so that their congregations can end Enter, or, or their congregations can enter in adoption. Look at the responsibility that the ministers have with their congregations. Everything that it covers, from showing them messages that we read a little while ago, a few minutes ago, of all those things that we had to correct with our brother Miguel. And because later on, more light was given, as well as everything that is going to come from that mark of the beast which the people of God have to be well aware, well prepared and notice if you give them a food that doesn't have vitamins and doesn't have all the knowledge so they don't get that mark of the beast they can run a risk Of getting the mark of the beast or that group and the guilty one of that is the pastor the minister that is why everything has to be with the message relevant to the time in which we are living in and to place that message 
in the way he already spoke to us there that if there was something that needed to be corrected it would be corrected already in this time everything is being spoken as it has been spoken all the elements are being placed so that the son of God is already for his adoption because that was what the ministers of Moses and Elijah were speaking there to Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. And what was the result of what they were doing with Jesus, or that they were speaking to Jesus, that was, what was the result? The adoption of Jesus. And that will be the result for the children of God in this end time who would be listening to the ministers, the ministers of Moses and Elijah speaking to every son and daughter of God about going to the mice of the Lamb, every son and daughter of God, or that would be taught in the ministry under the tent the ministry of teaching, which that new ministry would be manifested a third pool ministry. You notice on page 35 of the book of quotations, it tells us something. Let's read this extract here. Paragraphs 291 and 92. It says, It says, now I'm, I'm wanting to see that happen. It's going to be the attitude of the people towards the message. See how she said it. She said just the right thing. It's what you say that does it. And he writes, third pool, speak. A third pool equals speak. And he also draws a star of David there next to it. And he also writes the right thing equals say it. And on 292 in the book of quotation says, The other morning up there, when I was sick with that throat condition, I seen Jesus standing before me. And he told me that the ministry is already confirmed to me. Now, what is to take place, I don't know. But one thing I have to lay aside the other to step out on this. And below, in the same paragraph, he says, I don't, I don't know what he's going to tell me along the line. I'm going to try to feel for that super anointing. I don't know what will take place. And he writes, he saw Jesus, the new ministry, the third pool. See that you notice it is in the third pool under the new ministry in which the sons and daughters of God will be prepared for adoption for our transformation he is saying remember that whoever enters into that temptation and falls into that temptation and joins with all those things then there is no adoption for that person and because that is death and if they don't flee the people who are in that congregation and they go to another congregation also already hinder them hinder them for adoption so Let's leave Miguel here. Miguel will talk with you calmly in these days and in the days to come. And Miguel and I will also be talking, but without recording, to help you all. Not only you here, but in all other nations, because we want everyone to enter. My desire is that everyone enters. I don't want anyone to miss the blessing of adoption. I love you all, no matter what problems you, ha you have had in life. I love you all, and I love the brethren in your congregations, those who are here and those new ones who are also coming. And I want all of you to be adopted. You see? For that is the desire of God, that no one should perish, that all should come to repentance. But remember, we are already in a new dispensation. We are already fully in the dispensation of the kingdom and age of the cornerstone. Therefore, things, they are moving as it was in the days of the apostles. They are apostolic days once again. We read it before, which by the way I'm right, apostolic days being repeated, something like that. 
because they are the days where the Spirit of Christ is in the midst of his church. In the midst of his church. In the midst of the ministries of Moses and Elijah, working in the midst of his church, which are the days of Ananias and Sapphira once again. And those are days that although one knows many things, that will be happening to certain people one has to keep quiet because that fear that entered there on that occasion in the church when Ananias and Sapphira when that happened to them that a great fear came to all those who were hearing that all those who had it I wish and ask God that that fear also enters if it hasn't entered yet that that fear enters the church because a series of things will be happening in the midst of the church so that those who don't walk straight walk more straighter for them to realize that it is the Spirit of Christ that is in the midst of the church. Those who think that he is not. Those who think they are alone and that they can only just flow or that they can only be guided with the message that they alone can take the message and that is enough and they haven't realized that the Spirit of Christ is in the midst of the church working and everything is being fulfilled to a T. So when certain things begin to happen, remember this greeting that I'm giving you today. Remember that I have told you and that I told you that this was going to be happening. And as a brother Miguel once said, now anyone would say that Benji starts talking so, for example, he used to give the example that the only place of spiritual food was the tent. That was where Brother Branham saw that bread of life behind the curtains. But that is a biblical truth. And we are saying what it is. That is why it is not that one is trying to become great, it is because God is the one who is doing everything and is fulfilling everything, and the great one is Him. He is the one who is materializing, fulfilling everything that He already spoke through the forerun of the second coming of the Lord, and He also spoke to us through the powerful archangel who was in the midst of the church bride, in the midst of the spiritual Mary, in the midst of each one of us, bringing to us that glorious message, that message which is the one that contains everything we need to be transformed. But that message has something there that is not written. And that is what is being spoken now at this time. Messages of Brother Branham, messages of the angel of the Lord Jesus, messages of the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and everything is being brought now to the teaching under the tent in such a simple way that God had already ordained from before the foundation of the world. And that is what will produce the adoption, the transformation. Outside of that, no person who doesn't listen, who doesn't receive all this teaching, none, no one will be adopted. And it is better to speak it clearly so that later on they don't say, they didn't say anything to me, they didn't tell me anything. I have been telling you for some time now. So all those days are going to come. And you see, there will come a time when there will no longer be that space of time which we have now. So take advantage of all this teaching. How many things have we learned in such a short time? 
things we hadn't seen. And one reads them now and one says, no wonder, look how, look at what the scripture means. Look here, look there. And there is so much bread, so much food that one doesn't finish uh, speaking or reading an extract with a, a writing. But another one appears with another writing. And so much manner that God is giving us. See? You notice how God in this time where it appeared that we were alone that we had no more food that we were all we were going to be hungry it was when God had the bread of life that hidden manna it is when there is more food in abundance let us uh, finish here with this message taking sides with Jesus on page 54 um, he knew them I will read that. Let's read it again. He knew them, but notice, he never rebuked them. He went right with them. Aha. He does the same thing now. He goes right along with them, shows them his mercy. That's right. Though they do all together against him. Why? Because he loves them. That's why he said in a message in 70 something there, that he said that one would be very sad to have known them because they are with you together for some years. Many of them we have known since, since they were born. And one has always, let's say, known them. And then, that they are going to cross the line and get lost. Said it, would, it would have been better not who have known them because one loves them and one doesn't want any one of them to be lost and one seeing them in that entanglement they have and in that hatred and in that way of thinking and in all those things they scheme this and that and one sees that the end of all that uh, the end of that kind of people is the same thing that happened to the servant of Elisha and also in the days of the apostles although there is a message that Brother William says that we don't know what happened to Ananias and Sapphira but that is already something God with them we don't know if they will be lost or we don't know if they don't have that opportunity of resurrection at this time in the first resurrection and that they will be resurrected after the millennium because a person that is uh, bothering or stumbling in the divine program and brings some problems to the work and that God takes him away don't think that that person will be with us again in the first resurrection that person will come after the millennium we don't want to be troublesome uh, we don't want the troublesome ones in the millennium. They will be there after the millennium. It is there after the millennium that they will be resurrected. Because they can't be resurrected before the great tribulation. Before the, before the millennium. Which is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and will rise. They can't be resurrected in that resurrection and for something very simple that we all know remember that there is going to be a judgment it is impossible that if he lives here and God takes him away so that he doesn't get lost let's say and so that he doesn't hinder the work of God and God takes him away it can't be that that person will come out of judgment well he will return after the millennium uh, not so with those that God is already calling and gathering since before the foundation of the world. The names that have to be there in the sixth dimension, those types of people, in other words, those brothers, um, those brethren, those people, for them, they will resurrect the ones whom God is calling. They will be with us again because they will be witnesses of the resurrection. They can't all stay because afterwards, how are we going to know that the resurrection took place? Some of them have to go beforehand to fulfill that purpose. That is already predestined by God. But someone that God takes away because he is hindering the divine program and because 
is doing something that is not in line with the work of God and so that then he doesn't continue, let's say, to obtain judgment and rather God then takes him away and he redetermines the future of that person. But one thing we are very sure of he will not be resurrected in the first resurrection. They will already be in the second which is after the millennium. All these days we can talk about all this in a little in, in some much more depth since there are some extracts and some quotes where we can talk about that about the people who are composed of those who will be resurrected and about the people who live here and will not be resurrected in that resurrection but are those who will not come out well in that judgment and will remain until that until after the millennium he continues saying because he loves them and he went with them but they are always ready to call on him in a case of emergency they want him then see in other words if there is a case of emergency then yes they want they will make fun of somebody of shouting they will make fun of somebody preaching divine healing say they don't believe in it they just haven't got sick enough Yet, I have heard a many one, a woman dying just as I ran up the steps when I was preaching right here, and the man standing right there at the door calling to me. She had walked by. She lived up the street here and had a cow out there. And she said, if my cow got that kind of religion that Billy's got, I would kill the cow. In less than an hour from then, she was stricken and taken to the hospital, a beautiful young woman. And I rushed out there. Her husband was Catholic and they sent for me. She is dying, and she went, her eyes went to swelling out, she said, call him, call him, call him, call him quickly, quickly. And her brother ran up and stood there at the door, and waited and waited, and he kept motioning for me, and the place was packed full of people. In other words, they were giving signs to Brother Branham in that activity so that he would go. In other words, the brother of that young lady was giving a sign to Brother Branham said, the place packed full of people, the activity where they were having the activity. And after a while, somebody came around and put a note on the desk here, said, someone is dying in a hospital. And I believe Brother Graham Snelling, I said, take my place till I go. And he would just stand up and lead singing. He wasn't even called and to preach at that time. He came up to lead singing. You see? The song directors are always placed to lead the hymns, not to preach. That is not the business of the song director. The song director is to lead the singing. And here, on 118, this part here, where Bernam said, on paragraph 1049, he says, and have a song leader, no matter who it is, and don't let them stand up and say, or carry on like they are a preacher. See? Let them stand up there and lead songs. That's their business. It's the pastor's business to preach. Let your last song here, let your last song. See? Be the pastor's call. And he writes, the devotional leader do not preach. He says, and I went out and got in my car and rushed out there. And just as long as I got the steps, she drew her last breath. And of course, the boils and kidneys, everything acted. 
they ran in there and they done covered her face up and steam coming up around like that that is bad odor and that old nurse standing there she said brother Benham she screamed her last breath for you trying to make it right but it was too but it was too late then you see yeah Two, you can sin one time too many, you know, and she kind of had deep in her face, she had a, a, a open hair, a real pretty woman, and her bobbed hair was all bashed out, great big brown, brown eyes had pushed out, and just her closed and the freckles on her face had got in such a way such strain till they just stood on out like this like like little bumps all over her face and her mouth was open and I walked over there and looked at her their husband stood there and said Billy here is what it was said I, I am Catholic I want you to say a prayer for her because she is going to purgatory I said what said say a prayer for her said she is going to purgatory she passed by your church about two hours ago and I said and said if our cow ever got your kind of religion she would kill the cow see said say a prayer for her I said that's too late she should have purged her soul here not till she gets somewhere else see that's right oh yes but we but we always want him in the time of distress people I have heard them saying I don't believe in God let him hurt himself right bad once See, the first one he will call on, even his disciples, one time when they were in a storm, though when they saw him, they were a little bit afraid of him. They didn't know just exactly what it was. They said it's a spirit, and they cried out in the rest of David. But yet, all hopes for being saved was gone. So they invited him sí, in. Yeah, they are always, whether you are it was suspicious or not, when all hope is gone, you like to invite him in. Yeah, they took him in because they had a need of him. That's right. And he drew the star of David. You know, I have often wondered, sometimes, maybe that's why the storm comes on. Did you ever think of that? He stepped up there and watched them till they had need of him. And then he came on the scene. So we can see our need of him now. We see that the storm is coming. Brother, let's take sides with him tonight. Take sides with his word. I, I quit here. Let's take sides with him. Let's, you and I, brethren, join up with him tonight. The storm is coming. And don't wait till the little boat is sunk. Let's take him into our little bark now. You might look off and say, I can't understand all these things, Brother Branham. See if we say anything but what's in the word. See, if there is anything there, but what he promised to do, it might look a little spooky at you sometime. You think, oh my, I can't understand that. But there will be a day when this life of yours is living. It won't look so bad to you then. When you know yourself, you go to turn back to the God that created you. You will want to take him in them. Let's take him in now before the storm gets any worse than what it is. And look here. To finish this little sharing, where it tells us in the message, the 70th week of Daniel, on paragraph. Let's check for it quickly here on page 
en la página 19 page 19 del mensaje de las 70 semanas de Daniel paragraph 80 in the message the 70th week of Daniel en el párrafo párrafo 80 en paragraph 80 dice él dijo, said, entendí por I understood my books hermano, that Jeremiah, muchos años atrás, my brother many many years ago aquí, prophesied that Israel would, would stay down cumplir, here 70 years y mismo se alistó, and that time is about fulfilled y mismo se alistó, and he made himself ready entró en ayuno, and he called a fast a sí mismo, and he sanctified, and he sanctified himself and y when, y when ashes and sackcloth and put it upon his head ayunar, and went to fasting and praying to understand about what day viviendo. they were living in y si Daniel, and if Daniel el profeta del the Señor, prophet of the Lord pudo could consult Jeremiah's books Jeremías, and bring him to such a place a lugar, that even Israel coming out all of them alive was coming out of Babylon to go back to their homeland would cause him to would cause him to fast with, sac with sacros and ashes how much more Dios ought it to do to the church of the living God para saber to know que el tiempo that time is no fading más. out and shall be no more in the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the great millennium ready to set in how can we spend wasteless time gambling, swimming, calling no on Sundays yéndose, si el um, habla no time for the Lord just run down no if the pastor speaks on something or another va. that you don't like si él, you get up si and go out iglesia, and, if, and if the church holds está, too long why? You, you are, you are satisfied. Look at our condition. Look what we Compare are doing. Compare our lives with that prophet. Un en un reino One man in a complete kingdom with no church to go to. Esa fue and none y nowhere else to go. Ciudad, it was torn down and burned down. His city, 68, his people 69, was captive. 68 70, years, 68, 69, 70. He Bien. had two years left. Como ¿Sí? En ese tiempo, como el hermano Notice Branham how dice, at that time, allí, how Brother Branham says there, lo trae en este tiempo, and he brings it in this time, como aún, cuando el how even dice allí, when the pastor says there, cosa que talks no about gusta, something that you don't like, usted se y se you get up and leave, o, o también, Also, saying that the service lasts too long, you are then dissatisfied with all that, because you don't like it to last too long. He writes there on the side, the, he writes the second coming of the Lord, the millennium, so that esta etapa, you have it in that etapa, paragraph that later al máximo, will be printed el in the place en que on the side that he wrote no la van a poder the second etapa, coming of the Lord the millennium in other words take this stage to the o sea, most, uh, take it to the most que because time will come when you will not be able to obtain it where it would be too late In other words, many times many people don't like it, hablando, others don't hablando, enter when luego, one is talking and enter later, others get up and leave. Este Take advantage luego, of this time, no because later on there will be no more opportunity to listen or to hear what is being este said in this stage under the tent. It is a unique experience. Única. No la Don't despise it. Más bien, Instead, tre treasure y it este and be prepared para su for your adoption. Todos que lo están All those who are doing so serio, and who are taking this este adoption stage seriously, I will tell you the result. El you will be adopted. You are going to obtain 
Van a obtener ese cuerpo eterno y glorificado. Y body. vamos a dejar esta tierra. And we are going to leave this earth shaking, as Brother Benham says there. Feel a few vessels and shake this world. Leave it in confusion. And then we shall go to the marriage of the Lamb. Because that is what Jesus obtained on the Mount of Transfiguration, listening to Moses and Elijah. Los cuales estaban predicando, who were preaching estaban to him. A Jesús, They were talking to Jesus, to the one that was going to be adopted. Que Dios les God bless you greatly. En esta plática, And in this talk que hemos tenido that we have en had este momento, right now, como una plática as a talk of exhortation, una plática en la cual, a sharing in which we should meditate because those days of Ananias and Sapphira are already in the midst of the people. In other words, it is already in those days in this form in which it is entering and then we will be seeing things that you know are going to happen no and you can't do nada. anything about it. Tiene que dejar you have to let it eso happen. Y no tengo que estar and I don't have to be por ejemplo, como Eliseo, for example like Elisha there no que estar you didn't have to be telling Gehaz look Gehaz el the Spirit of the Lord is upon me y yo te vi, and I saw y you que tú and he showed este, me that you were doing this and Pedro. this Pedro no tenía que the estar same with Peter Peter didn't have to be telling them look the spirit of Christ is upon me no hagan esto. don't do this this or that may happen to you they kept quiet because by that time they should have had respect for the leadership that God had at that time and they had to know and understand by revelation that it was the spirit of the Lord that was working in their midst they continued their life as if it was as if nothing had happened they didn't have that revelation la the revelation de en quien Dios of en ese in tiempo. whom, in whom no God was working at that time. No they didn't have nada. that faith. It o wasn't sea, based on anything. In other words, it was terrenal. based on earthly things. Y la fe And the rapturing faith is based on the fulfillment de la del Hijo of the coming of the Son of Man with his angels. It is based on the fulfillment of the seventh, seventh, seventh seal, which is the second coming of the Lord. And that faith is based uh, and that faith is that it is based in the sons and daughters of God in, of this end time who will be adopted. And that faith is that we are all best, which is the coming of the Lord. Este tema in this topic que le colocaremos aquí that we'll put here en esta plática in this sharing la edad de la piedra angular the age of the cornerstone the coming of the lord esa es ese es el tema that is the topic because it brings together all that we have spoken on this occasion, which I hope you will meditate on it in your homes with your families. And may that fear that entered there not of fright, not of uh, being afraid because the children of God are not afraid. Rather, it is to be aware that it is a divine work and that it is God in the midst of his people which we have to be aware that God is love but also a consuming fire. So I hope this talk has been of great blessing and help to you all and be aware of this time in which we are living in, the time of the age of the cornerstone, the coming of the Lord. May God bless you and keep you all.